Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. So um, you don't have S8 phone, Galaxy S8 phone or S8 Plus or Note 8 and obviously you don't want to buy a phone and then just buy a deck station to use your phone as a PC replacement. But you still have your old Samsung phone, which I, I, like I do. This is my Note 4, old Note 4 phone, which is a bit, well, it's been dropped a couple of times, so it's not working perfectly, but it still does uh, uh, basic things, like I can use apps and etc. But phone calls and text messages is not very good. So let's say you have your old Android phone, and you don't want to go and buy a, a Galaxy S8 phone and a deck station just to use your phone as a replacement for PC. There's an alternative, and this is called Multimedia Docking Station. So this one is being created by Samsung themselves because you can see there's a Samsung logo in front of you. This is a genuine Samsung product. It's not a, a Chinese mock-up version or anything like that. It's a genuine Samsung product. And it's called Samsung Multimedia Dock Station. So basically what that does is turns my Note 4 into a, basically a PC-like experience replacement. And what connections we have is, <clears throat> we have two USB 2.0 connections on one side and one on another side. And at the back I have a headphone jack, which we don't have on a deck station. So I have a headphone jack, I have a power, and I have a HDMI output. So this is a gen created by Samsung themselves, a genuine Samsung product. Uh, this is being discontinued, obviously, in the favor of a deck station. But uh, you can still find these online. And if you can find these on eBay or Amazon, this alternative created by Chinese people, which is called Lage. So as you can see, it's a similar similar um, UI ports. So we have uh, two USB ports on one side. So this has got one and this has got one, but we have SD card reader on this side. And on the back bottom is the same thing. We have, let me put them both side by side, we have a power, we have a HDMI out, and obviously we had a, have a headphone jack. So what I'll do in this video, I'll plug in my old Note 4 phone, uh, just I need to charge it a bit. So I'll plug in my old Note 4 phone in either of these, and uh, let's see how this all performs. So here we are, this is a multimedia docking station. Currently I plugged into a power and this cable goes to my HD monitor. So let's open up and let's slide that in. So it connects. It's getting power, as I can see there is a lightning symbol on the, on the phone. And here we are, that's on my screen. So if I'll open up draw and I go around, I can basically control this what I see on the screen. So if I'll go to YouTube, so it's opening YouTube on this side as well. So let's play one of the slow mo guys video. Let's do a full screen. So as you can see, this is what I see on my screen. So this is a phone. What is phone showing now? I can see on the screen. So I can watch videos and etc. on my phone with no problem. Volume, let's increase the media volume up. I don't know exactly where the volume is going to go because i am not used this for a while. All right, it's going to the, it's going to a monitor. So give me two seconds. Let me connect my speaker. I don't know why, but for some reason, the back connection for my headphone is not working, but that's not a problem because my phone have a headphone jack at the top. So plug that in at here. And basically this cable is runs to my portable speaker. So let's put the volume a bit down, press play. Go full screen mode. So here we are. You can watch uh, videos on a bigger screen using this multimedia station. But um, it's still a bad thing because, come on, it's uh, screen is on always on a phone and you see this and it's a bit battery drainage happening is not charging your phone fast enough to actually <clears throat> watch that kind of videos for a longer period of time because the phone screen is still on 
So to go around it, you need to connect the keyboard and mouse, mouse peripherals. Right. <clears throat> Samsung is Samsung Note 4 is connected to my docking station or multimedia docking station. And this is what I see on the screen. So if I'll tap play, it should play. Right. As I mentioned, the screen is always on. So if I'll plug in my keyboard and mouse, which I'm going to try to do one handed. So give me two seconds. Let me somehow do this one handed. Oh, my bad. So plug that in and plug that in. So that's it. I plugged in both um, mouse and keyboard on. And what you see, the screen is actually off, but I still got the functions on the screen. I still can play, play, pause, and, and seek, and etc. What that basically, what's happened is when you connect a mouse to a side of a dock station, it detects that you connected the input peripherals and it turns the screen off. And that doesn't mean you need to actually connect mouse, wired mouse and keyboard. You can use one of these things like this. This is like a re, uh, wireless uh, keyboard. And if you connect one of the, that, these, uh, well, this keyboards, this keyboard, this thing, it will detect that you actually connected the mouse and the screen will go off. So I can go, let's, let's move a bit further further so wait until the wi-fi picks it up so yeah as long as you connect something that represents a mouse input the screen will go off so right now because i have everything connected let's go back right click acts right mouse click acts as a back button so back 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 and here we are i am i'm in a well main menu i'm in a desktop so obviously you can go and browse the web so let's open the web. Here you go, the page, kind of buses. That's where I check today if the buses are going because we have a snow warning. We have a red uh, snow warning, so all good. Let's go to a main menu. Goes to my network provider free. Click back. I can go and go through a tabs. It's like a browsing a web. And again, the keyboard is working, so if you click escape, escape will act like a back button and an etc. So I press the window key and it's launching the Google Now. So drag from the top down, I can see all my notifications. So click back, so back, 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 back. And the wheel down will act as a home button. So if you have something open, so let's open the maps. If I'll click wheel down, it acts like a home button. So here we are, I'm in the phone main screen. And obviously uh, you can do uh, your documents, word processing and uh, spreadsheets and etc. I quickly downloaded the Polaris Office Android app. So let's sign in as, uh, as my Google account. So signing in, yes, please allow. And it's opening my um, Polaris office. Yes, I accept of everything. Yes. And come on. Creating an account. And I'm in the main menu. Yes, I accept to access it. So create a new. So I can create document, spreadsheet, or presentation. Let's click document. Let's choose a blank. It's not a full feature office. Uh, you don't expect this to be competitive with Microsoft Office, but when you have your old Android phone and you don't have a computer, or like, like I said in the beginning, you don't have a deck station, this is a very good alternative to use an old phone. So I can type, hello world. So obviously keyboard is working, no problems at all. Let's check on this one, save, export to PDF, etc. As you normally would see on the, on these apps. So done. Can I go back, back, back and click home button. Okay, uh, again, um, you can game. So as you can see, I have a Parsec installed. So let's launch Parsec and see if my computer actually all oh, right, my computer is not running Parsec. So two seconds, I will sort that out.
I have sorted the Parsec, so Parsec is right now running on my gaming PC. So if I'll go and open a Parsec app on my Note 4, now I can see my gaming PC appeared on the list. So if I tap on it, I should get a connection to my gaming PC. So here we are, I'm in a gaming PC. Let's go to my library and the games and etc. Obviously you need to adjust a bit of um, the streaming quality because Note 4 don't have the good Wi-Fi speed. And obviously I cannot connect the Ethernet cable at the back as I can with um, my deck station. Obviously might be this kind of adapter will be helpful if I'll use this to connect to my media station and use this adapter to connect to Ethernet. But well, the cable, I don't have a cable around me. So um, I don't have an um, Ethernet cable going towards me. So I can't really test this out. But here we are, I, I'm, I'm inside my gaming or my Steam and I can do gaming and etc. with no problem. Let's go back <clears throat> again. Um, you can do a file manager, um, things with ES File Explorer. Again, I can go to my locals. It's, it's, it's the same as your as um, deck station, but it's like a younger brother of deck station. That's what I can say. It's, it's not that well polished. It still does the job if you want a quick uh, quick and dirty um, edit uh, documents or browser web or watch your videos and etc. Obviously, it's nowhere as a, as powerful as a deck station is. But still, you can do a bit of gaming and a bit of um, your workflow. You can do a bit of word processing and uh, spreadsheets and etc. So now I'll quickly connect this Chinese, um, Chinese version and I'll see how this one performs. So I took Samsung Multimedia docking station, disconnected everything, connected the Chinese version with a keyboard and mouse and a power and a display. So what I'll do now, I'll just gonna connect that in. And let's see what's gonna happen now. So the charging, yes, the charge is happening. Screen went off. So in a second or so, I should see everything on my monitor. And as you can see, uh, I got the same functionality, everything the same. I, I can go through a pages and etc. I can go with the parsec. Let's open parsec. Open parsec. Connect into parsec. Open up. Connect into my gaming PC. And as you can see, I'm back in the in my gaming computer. Again, let's quickly do a video test. So I'll go to YouTube. Slow mo, guys. Video is playing. Obviously, I need to connect the the audio, but that's all fine. I can watch the videos on YouTube with no problem. And let's go quickly see the Polaris Office. Opens the Polaris Office, and there's a one book. Polaris Office instructions. Let's open up this presentation file. And here we are, I got the presentation file, it's showing ads, I don't want to add. Close. Obviously Polaris is free, but obviously it comes with that. So yeah, if you don't have a deck station or you don't have S8 phone and you don't want to spend mega bucks for a new phone and a deck station, just to use an your Android phone as a computer replacement on the go, you can use one of those. This is, a, like I mentioned, a Samsung Genuine Multimedia Docking Station. And this is a Chinese mock-up and they both works perfectly. You can, they both can be connected to a TV or any display with HDMI in. You connect your peripherals, mouse and the keyboard, obviously power and HD cable in and it works fine. And obviously this is more future ri feature rich because you can connect the SD card. So let's get SD card and SD card that I got lying around, trying to do one handed and it's in. And that's it. And you can, let's say you're taking photos with your camera, like this one, that old fashioned camera. You take photos with this camera and you want to take a, a photos of this camera to your phone. Take SD card, plug in there. Obviously, you don't need to uh, have all these connected. You just need to have a power going into this. As long as the phone is getting a power from this device, it can read this SD card with no problem. So here we are, this was a Samsung Multimedia docking station, the, the first ever 
device that turns your Android phone into the PC-like uh, gadget. Uh, I'll try to find a link to both of these items online and post in the description below. And uh, I hope they're still available because I own this for about four years now. And this is for about three years or two years. Because when I bought this, I thought, what if I'm going to find a cheaper one? And this this was about third the price than the original Samsung one. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.